Hello, it's Joe Glines. And in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, Excel object model and the uh, methods and properties that will be available. Um, actually, we're not really going to talk about what's available, just the fact that you need to know uh, which one you're looking at, um, which object type thing you're looking at. And, and again, I'm not a programmer, so I may misspeak in explaining stuff, but the overall concepts will be applicable. So in Excel, um, when you go to open it, you know, there's the Excel application, and this is, by the way, a function I've written that will um, do, it'll allow you to easily decide which object inside Excel you want to connect to. And I found this this deck here, which um, I think it does a pretty good job of giving you an idea of the different levels of it. <coughs> so the application is the highest level. Under Applications, then it has the add-ins, windows, and workbooks. And then under Workbooks are worksheets, among these other things. And then under the worksheets, that's when you have a lot of the things that we'll actually be using methods on, or getting the properties of, or setting properties to. Um, and it, when you don't understand this, it can be pretty frustrating. Let's say you go to save the file, but you're at the worksheet level, and you're down here, and, and it won't work. Um, or if you go to open a file and you're trying to hear, or if you're trying to add a chart but you're at the application level, um, it, it doesn't, things don't work. And so that was very confusing me for a while. So just one is understanding that there are different objects in Excel and you need to make sure you understand what your pointer is pointing to. Um, so what, what, um, what reference you have to the different object. So in this script, let me get back to it, where am I? Here we go. Um, years ago, I wrote this. This is a, a, a good intro tutorial, um, and so years ago, I read um, on it, and I wrote this function to help me basically pass a parameter, one, two, or three, and return back a handle or a pointer to the uh, um, the different Excel objects. And so um, I'm going to demonstrate this by, uh, so I have this in here. Let's see now. Let's put... Um, message box percent so what this does here by the way so I'm gonna say I'm saying hey call my Excel handle function which is this function um, I'm gonna pass in a variable and then um, basically I have it set whatever gets returned into this variable um, and, and I, I tell it I would pass it a 1, 2, or 3, which means down here, right, if if this equals a 1, it's going to return a pointer to the application. If it's set to a 2, it's going to get the window parent, which happens to be the workbook. And if it's a 3, it's going to get the active sheet. Um, and so th that is what they're basically returning. So right here, um, and let me, let me just start off with a simple one, right? So I'm going to say is object and let's move that guy into here alright so I run it it's a one that's saying yes my thank God my thing was successful and it came back and said that that is an object um, I could do that for each one of these but what I wanted to do was to demonstrate that um, each of these things have a name. So, they, they I'm sorry, they have a name property which I can pull back. I can, through dot notation, call out the name. And so let me add in here, tick R. So that's going to insert a line break after that one. In Excel application, what was the next one? Workbook. Workbook dot name. Oh, how did I get an extra line in there? Okay. And Excel worksheet. So, what this is going to do is I've just added on name to each of these variables. Um, really, it's an object because uh, it's stored pointers to them. And now when I save it, reload, and launch. So you can see here, um, and actually, sorry, I should have brought this over. And of course my message box goes away. Okay. So, the the first one, the application, it's pointed to Microsoft Excel as the name, right? The second one, which I said to go get a workbook, 
is the um, Joe's example workbook, right? So that is the name of my file, uh, my Excel file, which you can see is up here, right? And then in this one, you can see my worksheet, Joe's worksheet, it's a name, and that's what it's displaying here. Um, and so by adding the dot name, it allowed me to easily see of what, what these things are actually a reference to. Um, now, obviously you would do a lot of different stuff with this after you get that, uh, because like I said, you'd want to, if you're going to insert a range, right, we can go back to here. If you're going to stuff, you want to work on that. If you're going to add a worksheet, right, then I think you want to actually be in the workbooks to add a worksheet, because you don't do it within the worksheets. I, I can't recall exactly. But it's critically important that you understand you use the right method for the right object. Um, and also, obviously, if you're trying to get information about them. Um, so it, it's easy to get very confused on that. So what, what I typically do is um, make sure that I understand what what you know what my reference is pointing to because you can just spend spin your wheels a lot and not realizing you're actually working on the wrong thing. Thanks.